Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my yarn adventures. A bit of an update on my crochet and knitting projects that I have been doing. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done one. Life got very busy. So today's video I have, um, what have I got for you? Well, some finished objects, some updates on cows that I am joined in and doing, and um, an acquisition, and what socks am I knitting? Which colour was decided? So let's get started. First of all, I am taking part in Zeta's calendar cow. Now, disclaimer here, I haven't finished September's tea cosy. One, I bit off more than I can chew with a pattern. I'm still struggling to work out how to put it together. And two, I did go away and fell behind on that one. But I have made it easy on myself and I have finished October's calendar cow. So here is my tea cosy for October. I've gone a little different this time. I've gone for a tall, more slender pot and I have done this um, scallop design with a drawstring around the knob for easy access. Now this is all done in um, Spotlight Marvel 8 ply or a three weight yarn or DK. And yes, I finished that and I've blocked it and it's turned out really well. And I will need tea cozies for my November market stall. So that is October's calendar cow with Zeta. The next thing is my luck of the draw cow that I'm doing that's Nan's Next Knots and hosted by Mama Swift Trish. So I think the last time I showed you, where's my progress keeper? We were up to about there. I had done the on the green. And there's been four weeks and that's the addition from the green. Orange has come out twice which should make me smile because I love orange. And this is turning out really lovely, this lap gam. I love this pattern from Creative Grandma. And the yarn I'm using is Spotlight's Cocoon 8 ply. It is really soft and squishy. It is perfect for a lovely little lap gam. So I'm quite pleased with that. I don't know if I'll go the full 20 weeks. Um, it might get too big for what I need it for if I donate it to charity. So that is my next cow. So before I go on to other things, I was really excited to be doing the Stephen West um, mystery cow this year. I am um, trying to develop my knitting skills and I went all out and bought yarn and was really excited. However, I'm a little disappointed. I'm up to row eight, nothing to do with the pattern or the cow. The problem being is, being in the Southern Hemisphere, I get the pattern release and the emails about 3.34 in the morning. And the first one came out and it was about lunchtime by the time I got to look at it. And before I even got to look at it, some people in the Northern Hemisphere had finished it and posted pictures all over social media without a spoiler alert. So I already knew what it was going to look like. So for me, it's no longer a mystery cow because people are racing into it and posting pictures without spoiler alerts. And yeah, it's sort of taken the wind out, out of it and the enjoyment of what the mystery is. Um, so I'll be taking my time with that. I am um, not a superhero. <laughs> I don't want to finish first. Um, and I am a slow knitter and I want to enjoy it because it is no fault of Stephen West. He designed awesome patterns. Um, I'm doing other things of his in the hope that I will improve my knitting. I have learned a lot of things off him. And even with the mystery cow, I am learning. Even though I've only done eight rows, I am learning a lot. Um, I just wish people had been a little bit more considerate, like Alex at My Yarny Corner. She can't remember if she talked about it on her vlog, her podcast. But she announced a spoiler alert. If you didn't want to see it, she told you where to jump to in her video. And I thought that was really considerate. So I must thank Alex for that. But yes, it's not a mystery cow if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and everyone in the Northern Hemisphere um, races ahead and just posts pictures. But I am still doing it. 
what else have I got? So when I went away, I took a knitting project, which I am still doing. Um, I'm at the boring part, but I have made a decision last week that I must do four rows a day, if nothing else, before I do any other crafting. So I'm determined to finish it. But I also took with me a crochet project, which I started before I just got on the plane and um, I have finished it now. The pattern I started, it was a paid for pattern given to me as a gift by Thing last Christmas. It's the Kah um, Kihana Convertible. Sorry about the plane going overhead. And that's it there. However, mine does not look like that. Mainly because I got tired of doing all this single crochet and I thought it was a bit long. Now, I thought I had more than enough yarn to make that skirt, but turns out I didn't. Um, I use Peyton's Cotton Blend 8 ply, which is made in China, and they're 95 metres in a roll. And I literally went through eight rolls and I had a little bit left. But along the way, there's no way I could have made that skirt. I have changed this pattern um, to suit what I want to sell it or give it away for. I've made a little beach skirt. It's a small and I've changed the top. I put some, I guess, window lacy bits in the top and that was for me to um, enjoy it more. You start at the bottom and you work up and I just got sick of doing single crochet. I'm not sure you can see that in the light. I will put it in the next video on Gertrude here um, so you can see it. Now, so I basically adapted this pattern, so I won't call it my own pattern. I just changed it to suit me. And I will be using this pattern as a guide and probably adapt it a bit more for other skirts. I want to do some, I've been asked at my markets, do I have any little like beach skirts that you can throw on over your bathers or your swimwear? Um, especially like the young girls who are around 20, 21, 22, they like a little skirt and that's what I have done. So I have finished that and I am happy to have finished that project. Now, the socks. Da -da, da -da. What colour was decided? Would it be pink or blue? What do you think? Well, it was very close. 10 votes for blue, 11 for pink. One lady didn't even comment about the socks, so she didn't get a vote. And Madonna Gala said anything because it wasn't green, I imagine. So if it had been a draw, it would still be pink because the darker colour in the pink set, now that I am knitting it up, does have some green in it. So it is the pink set. This is my little project bag that I got from my secret Santa last year, black face sheep, and it's in here. So the pattern I am doing, if I can find it, I had it here. Won't be a moment, I'll just pause the video. Back again. So the pattern was inspired by the fact that Alex at my yarn corner makes a lot of socks and she often talks about the shadow wrap heel. My first pattern of pair of socks I made was heel flap and gusset and she raves about the shadow rope heel I think Soxy Nana may have been or Amanda Jane someone else has gone on about how great the shadow wrap heel is so back to earth tones girl and I am doing sock floration the shadow wrap heel it's a paid for pattern and this is the one I'm doing. Now they're longer socks than the last pair, which is fine by me because they'll just be for me. And yes, that is the pattern that I am doing. There are video tutorials to help me along the way. And in here is the project because I've started it. Da -da, da -da. It's quite small. I haven't done very much. I decided I would make the cuffs pink and then I would probably do the heels pink and if I didn't have enough yarn, I do have some minis that will blend with it nicely. Now, the last time I knitted socks, I did the Earth Tones 2 knit, knitting needle uh, way of doing it. This time I am doing the magic loop on the really long needles, which leads me to 
my acquisition. Before I started the socks, I decided I don't have many, very many fine size knitting needles. And when I went to buy a couple of pairs, it was like 30 or $40 for two knitting needles, sets of knitting needles. And I thought, you know what, that's too much. So I came back and I looked online for the socks. I really like Earth Tone Girl's recommendation on the higher, higher sharp for the fine yarn. And I ordered a, um, what do they call it? Con connectable? I'll tell you what she calls it. It is the higher, higher sharp connectables, needles, whatever you want to call them. So they come in this lovely embroidery, embroidered type case little satin case and in here are your knitting needle points and there were lots of like a cable for each length um, adapters now this is where we got a bit mixed up I was looking for five inch tips and um, no one had them everyone was sold out and it was hard to get them when I was looking online and this one store had one four inch one five inch and I ordered the five inch and the lady rang me pretty much within half an hour very apologetic she had done her stock tape wrong she didn't have one of each she had two four inch but she did explain to me that they have um, some five inch in the set and adapters for the four inch and because I wanted them I agreed to take them they were $132. I bought them from um, Yarnarama in South Australia. I have bought stuff there before, for some, and I can't remember what, because I'm already a member on site there, and you get points. So, yes, I am using my higher, higher sharps with the 100 centimeter cable to knit my socks, and I'm really enjoying it. Because I find Earth Tone Girls um, tutorials are really great. What I'm not fussed about this time is um, use both needles to cast, do a um, long tail cast on a round. And you get this funny little edge. I don't think I'd do that again. It's a bit wavy. But it's still okay. I really like the colour mix. And I, I don't know if you can see it on camera. But there was the green. There's a trying to get really close here there is a strip of jeweled green there somewhere that's why I would have chosen this if it had been a tie because Madonna didn't really care whether it's pink or blue because it wasn't green <laughs> it's her favorite color anyway guys that was my acquisition of my socks thank you everyone for making the effort to leave a comment and vote on which color you think I should use and yes I am making my second pair of socks for October. so last week I didn't do the yarn adventure video because I did the markets on Sunday and it was exhausting we were extremely busy busy lots of people looking and lots of people buying I've been doing it a few years and last week I made record sales I raised a bit of money which was really great I sold uh, tea towel toppers tea cozies of course I've got to make some more to restock um, shawls you name it it was I keep a list of everything I sell and um, quite a varied list of the different things I make I've made and sold and I got asked for different things um, I've been asked for more of these type of shawls in cotton we're getting into the warmer weather in tropics so most things will have to be cotton and next market in November is full on fundraising towards my little friend Emma of Emma's Quest. Um, on International Girl Child Day, I launched Emma's Kisses Tea Cozy, this one, and um, I launched the pattern. And it is a fundraising pattern for Emma's Quest, my little friend. And I want to thank all those people who went, bought a pattern or just went to my Etsy shop and favorited my shop or loved the pattern um, it all goes towards helping selling the pattern um, last time I looked I think I've sold about $60 worth 
Now, I appreciate it. I know Doreen and Emma appreciate it. And, it. and a lot of people say, well, that's not a lot of money. But my mother, who was very much a Yorkshire girl, used to say to us when we were kids, look after the pennies, the pounds will take care of themselves. So that's why even a little bit of money we raise is always appreciated. November market, we came up with an idea. Um, Doreen, her mum, does here we have recycling where you can donate you can collect your drink cans and water bottles plastic water bottles and tetra packs and take them back to the recycling center and you get 10 cents per item and a lot of charities were encouraged like emma's quest to register and get a number so people could donate to them and doreen does have around town with some small restaurant businesses uh, big basket tubs where they save them all week and that's why we generally catch up on a Thursday or Friday because she's done her recycling run which means she's gone to these places and picked up the recycling to take back to the container the change place where she gets the donation and I thought this market I had a brilliant idea when my boys were at uni they had this laundry basket that didn't take up much room was lightweight and was ideal they both had it when both of them went to uni cheapest chips to buy and the other day i saw one here it is it's just a little head of i don't know netting type basket that expands out and i am going to put this on the store with a sign and emma's container for change number and encourage people at the markets to put their empty cans and drink bottles in here as a donation to Emma's Quest. Um, yeah, I think it'll be quite well done because when it's at the end of the markets, things said he'll run it to containers for change. He just needs Emma's number, which I have. And yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. And um, Reeves does too. He encouraged me to do some other things for the markets because with Christmas coming, it's really a good time to push little things we can sell for Emma's Quest. She gets a lot of things donated that you can't really put in a raffle, like little things. So I put them out and we sell them at the markets and she gets the money from those. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to all those people who celebrated International Girl Child Day with me and bought Emma's pattern. This one is one I made earlier last year. It's called Gift of Love. It's a knitted pattern and I'm also selling that for Emma's Quest. So yeah, Ravelry. No, I didn't put it on Ravelry because it kept coming back. No, no. And it was all too hard. It's in the Kofi shop and I've discovered Kofi aren't charging me any fees. It's on Etsy and I'm absorbing the Etsy fees. It's a total five dollar amount that you pay there is um taxes on that we call it gst or vat there is like 50 cents taxes on that um where else have i got it kofi and the made it shop and i don't think made it are charging me any fees either it's only etsy so yeah thank you very much we really do appreciate it. The hydrotherapy pool fundraising is on again. We've got to get back to that limit. Um, what else is there? Well, that's all the Yarny stuff and the market stuff and what I've been up to. A bit of a life update. If you're not really interested, um, please feel free to leave the video and go crafting. Um, but this is a bit of life update for stuff for me, which I'm a little down about, but life does go on. On Thursday the 13th of October was my eldest son's birthday who lives in London and we had good chats and things but his 10 year relationship has come to an end and they have split up. Um, I think the separation of France and the UK and COVID took its toll and it was a mutually agreed split. They are still good friends but they have decided to move on from each other and um, I feel a little sad it feels like losing a family member I guess this is how you feel when your children get divorced um, but yeah I've not been um, involved in a lot of divorces so yeah it's very friendly very amicable and all of that 
but they have moved on from each other and uh, I do feel for him in the sense that it's a big change after 10 years but it does happen and it's better that they are both happy moving on so that was a bit of a downer but he's fine um, other than as a teacher in the UK he is very stressed he's Saturday and Sunday was preparing more lessons and marking mainly because at the start of the year which was only in September in the UK there were three I think he said three maybe four teachers in his department and they are down to him um, another one resigned on Thursday on his birthday so he is now covering three groups of students which is the work of three teachers until they can find someone who can come on board and take the job it is science and IT and they are in big demand those sorts of teachers to the point that his principal is panicking that if he decides to take a better offer she's got no one um, they are being very understanding some of the maths teachers can do some of the work and are helping out but yeah I think also his work life took a bit of a toll on his relationship when he's having to spend his work in weekends doing maybe marking and lesson planning and not much socializing anyway that's all of us worldwide um, the economy is not in a great state thing was complaining he um, has almond milk and he has a special brand of almond milk and he went to buy it the other day and he said it's gone up by 50 cents that's disgusting but yeah it's everywhere everyone in the UK uh, the United States Canada Worldwide, we are going through, I guess, an economic crisis that we all have to grin and bear and just get on with it and do the best we can. I know things aren't great in the UK with him because I asked him what would he like for Christmas and he said money for the heating bill. Um, the electricity has gone up like three times or something and it's going to get a lot colder there and he said I'll probably need money to pay my heating bill. Anyway, that's my life update. Reeves um, on Saturday night decided he would experiment and try a new recipe and he did stroganoff in the slow cooker and it was absolutely delicious. He did a great job. So I am very blessed to have two boys who are doing well and taking care of themselves and being thoughtful to others. Guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well and remember, it's up to you whether you have a crafty cup of tea. Bye for now.